Uh, okay, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, today I'd like to give a quick tutorial about uh, RISC-V beta programming with C-level electricity. Um, so I assume you are um, most likely familiar with the RISC-V beta, uh, beta extension. Um, if, you are, if you are here, so uh, we'll give a quick overview of the key points of the RISC-V beta extension. So uh, first of all, there's a uh, implementation defined better register length, which we call uh, VE length. Uh, so uh, each implementation can define um, their own better, uh, the length of the better registers. And the uh, element width and the better length itself can be uh, variable and configured at runtime. And uh, it's also possible to uh, group multiple better registers together to form um, an even larger better, um, uh, so you can have a better form, um, performance. And uh, next, um, all better instructions in a spec are polymorphic, so they can um, operate on uh, data types of different ways. And also, um, almost all of these instructions can be uh, maskable. Uh, finally, there's a better than elastic programming model. So um, uh, if, you have a, if you have a better program, you can run uh, the program on all uh, better cores um, independently of the uh, better, length, uh, better register length choice of the implementation. Uh, so now if you, um, if you have a better core, you can um, write um, the um, your algorithm um, with assembly, but uh, you probably don't, don't want to do that because um, uh, the algorithm you are visualizing may be very complex and they, um, it will become uh, very hard to maintain uh, when you write it in pure assembly. Uh, so um, we'd like to introduce the uh, better intrinsics. Uh, this intrinsics. Uh, since they are written in um, C, C code, so um, they can provide better integration with your um, other C code. And it's also possible to port uh, existing better libraries. Um, so here we have the uh, sleep, which is a better list, a better uh, mess library, uh, which will be ported with the uh, better intrinsics. Um, but the um, uh, better, uh, risk five scalable vectors, um, uh, they are scal scalable in nature and uh, they have a different um, um, a different workflow um, than uh, uh, compared to the big size vectors from, from um, other CD architectures. So how do we work with them? Uh, right now there's an IFC on GitHub here, uh, and then this is a proposal on the um, uh, risk by better intrinsics. So with our father, we will um, jump right into the uh, risk by better intrinsic types. Um, in the proposal, there, um, there are two kinds of better types. Uh, on the left hand side, there's uh, better types, and they are written in uh, B, and uh, followed by the element type, and N, and the normal of the uh, better register and uh, uh, followed by underscore t. So here are some examples. Uh, the first one is an AB integer uh, with an element of one, or this is a single uh, position voting point uh, with an element of eight. And uh, for the 0 0.9 version, there's a support for original element, and in our case, we write it as a, an, an F2 which is a uh, one over uh, two. So this is a help of a better register. Uh, the beta types are used to store the data you are computing with. So um, these are the uh, primary types you will be using. And uh, on the right hand side is a uh, beta mass types, uh, which write as B equal followed by and then and underscore T. Um, and then here is defined by the element width divided by the LMO. So, uh, and then can go from one, two, four, all the way up to uh, 64. Uh, these types are used for 
um, is application beta uh, when um, you are using a, a mass form of the beta instructions. So um, these types are uh, both size list, uh, which means that you cannot use them with a size of operator or put them in uh, stuff like trust or unions, uh, which requires the compiler to know the size of the of these types at that time. Uh, but I think um, the better types can be um, uh, configured between different better implementations. So um, um, these types cannot be um, used in a in a way that requires the length to be known at compile time. And the next, we have the better intrinsic functions. Uh, so basically, uh, these intrinsic functions map to one um, better instructions, uh, but it's also specialized for a given element width and uh, error mode. So here we have an example here, which is a better add between uh, two vectors, and these vectors uh, have a b elements uh, with an element one. And then on the second line here, we have uh, another vector add, but this time is a vector to scalar add, and the element width are um, 8, um, 32 bits wide, and also an element of 1. And finally, we also have a widening um, multiplication uh, from two single uh, position uh, vectors. And since it is a widening, uh, operation, so this will produce a, a double position false. And the notes that the LMO of the written type is also multiplied by two, so they are um, the same number of elements uh, in all of these vectors. Um, so next, uh, each of these, uh, these intrinsic functions will set up the V type uh, with this spatial form V C V O I. This VCBI will only change the V-type without changing the current VL. And the compiler can animate this extra VCBI if this line and the V-type does not change between two uh, intrinsic codes. We also have a design choice here to make the uh, better length to be implicit. So you don't have to pass the better length around uh, as an argument to these functions. And the, uh, these functions will just use uh, whatever VCBO you have set up uh, previously uh, with the, uh, another VCBO uh, intrinsic function call. Finally, it's a function of loading. So um, since we specialize each um, instruction into uh, different combinations of, of, of element uh, width and LMO, uh, so for example, uh, this add here, there will be one version for um, a integer and another for 16 integer. And, uh, uh, yeah, another for uh, like 64 in integer and for different LMOs. Uh, but as a programmer, you probably don't want to write um, this suffix uh, to uh, tell the compiler uh, which one you want, since uh, it's possible to infer the, uh, which one you want by the argument types alone. So um, if this is possible, and uh, for say in this case, uh, for an argument type, yeah, it knows that uh, this is a better add. Uh, between two vectors and the uh, uh, element width is, is a b y and the element is one, so uh, we don't have to write a i a n one suffix here, and then we can drop this and overload uh, this function as b add uh, along with the other uh, specializations. So hmm, that's it for the function overloading. Next up, we have the mask uh, version of the intrinsic functions. Uh, since most uh, most of the better intrinsic function uh, instructions can be overloaded and can be masked, so uh, it's also possible to provide an interface for the mass form of these instructions. And they, uh, for these forms, we will have to provide two additional uh, arguments, the mask and the mask of arguments. Uh, the mask argument is used as a precursion vector, which um, determines which element uh, is being masked. And if an element is masked, it will take the value from the mask of argument. So the semantics of this 
function is um, like um, the first command. If an element is masked, um, it will take the um, value from the mass of uh, better. But if, if it's not mass, then you will take uh, take the value from the um, uh, the instruction result itself. So every element uh, in the return vector is uh, completely defined either from the uh, instruction itself or the, or the method. And uh, this allows you to um, just change a few elements in the vector without um, having to use another uh, merge operations uh, with the, uh, the results. Uh, so now we have a simple example um, for the vector intrinsics. Um, so this is a um, vectorized add between um, two arrays uh, from B and C, and these two arrays are both of size n. And we will add uh, each element in these two arrays together and store them uh, into the array A. So um, the RVB is based on three mining, and in three mining, you need to know um, how many elements you want to process, uh, which in this case is the uh, n here. So uh, in the loop completion, we check uh, if we still have work to do, and if we do, then we enter the uh, loop body. The first thing we do in three mining is to know um, um, uh, to get out how many elements we can process in, in this iteration. Uh, so we call up with the VCV or call here, and then we also tell that uh, we want to use um, some 32 bit elements here since the uh, elements we are adding are 32 bits wide. And the, in this case, we can use um, a grouping of A's. So um, each of these uh, vectors will take up to A uh, vector registers. And uh, this call will return. Um, the um, number of elements we are passing in this iteration is the VLO variable. And once we have set um, the, the VLR, we can use the VLE instruction to load uh, the data from B and C address into the VB and the VC vectors. And next we add this um, two vectors pairwise together with the v adder function. Uh, this is overloaded. Uh, so uh, since uh, these two uh, variables are both um, 62 bits wide with an amount of A, so it knows that uh, it needs to use the uh, large version. And the result is returned into VA. And finally, we uh, restore, uh, uh, we store the uh, VA better into the A array. And now we are done with the beta addition. Uh, we still have to adjust the, um, the pointers. So we add ABC array with the number of elements we have processed so far in this iteration and also decrease N by VLO. Uh, so with three mining, um, it's also possible on um, the total number of elements we want to work with um, uh, cannot be divided by the um, elements we can process in a single iteration. So there will be some leftover elements. And uh, in that case, uh, this VCV of code will just return um, the, uh, the number of leftover elements. So for example, if, uh, if you have um, like uh, 15 as n, and you can only process up to four uh, elements in one iteration, so uh, in the last equation, you will just um, have uh, three elements as level over. And uh, in, the, in that case, the VL will just be three. And all of these um, intrinsic functions will only process um, three vector elements. So if you compile the previous code uh, with a RVB compiler, uh, you will um, get this uh, uh, this is assembly. Uh, this is very close to what you have written by hand. So um, uh, the beginning checks um, uh, if we still have work to do, and uh, if we do, then um, he enters this 
your body, which calls the vis a -vis all those the data, as them together and saves the effect. And finally, um, it does some um, pointers magic to adjust the pointers and also uh, looks back to the body. So, finally, we would like to um, give an overview of uh, um, and this RVV compiler. Uh, so, our compiler is based on LVM or CLAN and they can target C and C++. And this is currently targeting the uh, NDIS NX27B, uh, which is a 64 bit core. Uh, and they also, of course, force the uh, V extension. And uh, currently we have the uh, full support of the better intrinsics um, in the spec. And uh, we also have in our assembly support, so um, uh, you can uh, write a better uh, instructions in assembly and also interact with the uh, better, uh, better variables uh, with the assembly constraints. Uh, the compiler right now tracks the latest uh, better standard, which is um, still 0.9 right now, uh, but we are uh, modifying the compiler uh, as the um, official spec uh, is uh, evolving. Our compiler also supports the VCVOI animations. Uh, so the interest functions, uh, which inserts the, insert the V type, um, if the compiler sees that uh, the V type is, is the same, uh, you can animate the extra VCVL. And finally, also supports um, register operation for the scalable vectors. And uh, if there's not, if there's no enough uh, register available, uh, you can also support building these vectors into a stack. Okay, so uh, thank you very much.